Hello again. We are now on the third type of variation for week one, quarter two. And the third type of variation is what we call the joint variation. Joint variation is an equation that involves two or more quantities. If in direct and inverse, we only have two quantities, in joint, you can have three or more. Okay? The statement A varies jointly as B and C means A is equal to KBC where K is the constant of variation. Again, there we still have the constant of variation for K. And the three quantities involved for these statements are A, B, and C. Okay? Let's now try to translate statements into equation. P varies jointly as Q and R can be written as P equals, do not forget K as your constant, Q, R. Okay? As P increases, the values of Q and R also increases. Okay? Next, the area of a parallelogram varies jointly as the base B and height H can be translated as the equation of A equals K B H. Again, if it uses capital letter or small letter, you must follow that. Let us now have our first example involving joint variation, okay? Z varies jointly as X and Y. If Z is 3 when X is 3 and Y is 15, find Z when X is 6 and Y is 9. So just like with the previous examples with direct and inverse, translate this into an equation. Okay? So we'll have Z, Z equals K, do not forget K, X, Y. Now, from the first statement, Z is 3, X is 3, and y is 15 substitute this to the equation so z is 3 equals 3 which is x times the y which is 15 and k okay wag malito nag substitute lang ako then i rep and then i wrote k on the last part okay so, 3 equals 45K. 45 is 3 times 15. Then, divide both sides by 45. Now, the value of K is 3 over 45 can be reduced to 1 over 15. Now that we have the constant of variation, which is 15 or 1 over 15, the equation now is Z equals 1 over 15 XY. This XY here is numerator or you can write this as Z equals XY over 15. It's understood that we have 1 here beside x. Okay? Now, let's find z when x is 6 and y is 9. So, let's use the sec second example. z or x is 6, y is 9 over 15. Okay? So, we'll have 6 times 9 or Cancel natin to. 9 and 15, you will have 3. And this is 
5. Okay? And then, 6 times 3. is 18 over 5. This is the value of Z. Okay? Next. The amount of gasoline used by a car varies jointly as the distance traveled and the square root of the speed. Suppose a car used 25 liters on a 100-kilometer trip at a 100 km per hour about how many liters will it use on a 192-kilometer trip at 64 kilometers per hour? Okay? Translate into equation. A is equal to K, which varies jointly as the distance, and the square root of the speed. So, this can be translated as the square root of s okay now a car used 25 liters that is the amount of the gasoline on a 100 kilometer trip that is the distance so 100 at 100 kilometer per hour that is your speed square root of 100 then k okay 25 equals 100 times square root of 100 is 10 k then 25 is equal to Twenty five is equal to one thousand K. Divide both sides by one thousand. K now is equal to twenty five over one thousand. Reduce to lowest term that is one over forty. Now that K is equals to 1 over 40, the equation is D square root of S over 40. Okay? Not K, but A. Let me correct that. Okay? Then, how many liters or how would be the amount of gasoline will be used in a 192 kilometer trip that is the distance at a speed of 64 kilometers per hour over 40. So you will have 192 times the square root of 64 which is 8 over 40. And then you will have cancel this. This is 1 and this is 5. Ni reduce lang natin to lowest term yung 8 over 40. Therefore, you now have 192 over 5. And 192 over 5, if you will divide it to determine the amount of gasoline, you will have 3. Thirty-eight point four liters. Okay, this is the answer to the problem. How did we get thirty-eight point four? That's one hundred ninety-two divided by five. Okay. Any question? Okay. So that's all about joint variation. We will proceed to the last one on the next video. Thank you.